This uh, quarter has been very pleasing. It's brought to a conclusion what has been our first year of full production. And in that year, we twice upgraded our production guidance and we met that guidance. So it's a great achievement for all our team at the mine and at the mill to actually meet guidance, particularly in the context of what's happening in the wider industry where many others have not managed to achieve what they set out to do. So we produced 8,000 tonne of copper. We said we'd do that. We're very, very pleased. So um, the quarterly is a, is a great result. The costs were a little higher this quarter than uh, perhaps we had anticipated. That largely resulted from uh, one difficult stop at the mine. That's now behind us and costs will return to previous levels in future quarters. The nature of an underground mine is that uh, until the mine reaches its final depth, you are continually building tunnels, levels, ventilation so that you can breathe, so that you can access uh, uh, the ore and produce it. So the capital expenditure continues in an underground mine for a number of years after you start. Then once the mine is fully developed, capital expenditure falls away and clearly the margins increase. We are now down some 500 uh, odd metres below surface and we will be um, uh, reaching the end of our plan current planned development in about another 18 months. Um, the other area of capital expenditure is at the processing plant. Many shareholders will know that we produce a nickel cobalt concentrate. That concentrate is quite low grade. Um, we are storing that concentrate pending either being able to sell it or to be process it to produce a higher value product. Storing that product in an environmentally sensitive and safe way and such that it can be recovered for later uh, value uh, recognition is, uh, costs money. Uh, for example, this year we will spend some 3 million euros on starting a new large tailings facility. However, it should be recognised that uh, there is a lot of money in that nickel cobalt concentrate. We have a technical solution. Probably today is not the time to go into new adventures in processing that material, um, but it is there and uh, uh, we are working on uh, ways in which it can be turned into value. We are uh, seeking a balance between prudent management of capital expenditure and being irrational in planning for the long term. There is a certain amount of capital that is required to make sure that we make a lot of money in the future uh, and there's a, a, a capital that we can pull back on and, re and, uh, and delay or defer. So we are managing that capital expenditure for the benefit of the company. In the next 12 months in Finland, uh, we will be, uh, uh, it's, it's an interesting time for, them, for the mine and the mill. Where we've got to is we've gone through a period where you go through this natural anxious phase of ramping up and get, achieving full production. We've done that now. So we're now in a phase where we're perfecting the operation. So you're looking for efficiencies, productivity gains and ways in doing things better. Uh, like everything in life, mining is the same. You learn when you actually do it. Very different from a study when you actually get into uh, mining. So we're perfecting the operation. That's the first thing that we, we're looking forward to is perfecting the operation. The other thing that we're doing that's really important is looking to grow the reserves and the resources. Uh, shareholders may have seen recently we published some drilling from within the mine, very spectacular numbers, uh, resolving a long, uh, poorly understood area in the mine called the Gap, uh, where we, re we received a lot of good numbers and that will feed through to a new mine plan. The, uh, the other thing that we're doing is we'll be starting very shortly after the finished summer drilling at the bottom of the mine to look for extensions of what we have already. The last significant drill hole uh, drilled uh, some years ago before we started developing was 80 metres at nearly 3% copper. If we can get extensions like that, we'll add mine life, uh, add reserves and resources and potentially allow us to consider expanding the production rate. So the big thing this year will be to see how the mine develops both in its operating costs and whether we've got mine life. Shareholders will be aware that uh, we had uh, the extrata option uh, expire at the end of January this year. Since then, we embarked on a process of going out to find uh, a solution for Rosby. And that's, those potential solutions included sale of the asset, uh, corporate solutions where we, the company may get together with other people, uh, financing 
or bringing a partner into the project. We've had a lot of interest in the, uh, in the asset, but it's fair to say that in these market conditions, uh, the interest has slowed somewhat. However, we are still engaged with a number of parties on, on those discussions, and given that they're incomplete, it's uh, probably inappropriate to say more, except to stress what we have at Roseby is a completed definitive feasibility study. We have a fully permitted uh, uh, um, uh, project, and we are ready to go. Now, very few other projects are in that position. This project, really the missing ingredient is money, and patience, I believe, will be rewarded. The copper is in the ground, it's not going anywhere, um, and there will be value recognised from this thing, and the company will not do anything where we, uh, uh, we, rec we do a transaction that does not realise the full value of the project. There is no need to panic. The company is robust and strong. The asset is there. Let us manage for maximum value. What we will do at Roseby in this next 12 months is to focus on optimising the study that we completed. The study was completed at the top of the market when mining costs, uh, engineering costs in Australia were really frankly quite crazy. Life has changed. Uh, so we'll be looking at incorporating those costs into the study. The other thing we'll be doing in the last two or three years, we have frankly been working very hard. There's been a lot of data come in and there is an opportunity now to remodel resources and reserves and look at smarter ways of uh, 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 mining and probably optimising the resource and bringing in more geological data and bringing those up. So we'll be looking at ways of making a better study. We'll also be doing uh, a lot of the work we've done on prospectivity and upside is to review all that data such that when we start uh, spending money in exploration in a meaningful way that we know exactly where we want to do it and what the upside is.